In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to find the sum of a finite geometric series. So let's say if the first term is 4, and then the next term is going to be 8, and then 16, and then 32, 64, and so forth. So what is the sum of the first five terms? So that's just going to be 4, that's the first term, plus the second term plus the third term, which is 16, and then the fifth term is 64. So the sum of the first five terms, also known as a partial sum, is 124. So that's one way you can get the answer, is simply by listing the terms and just adding them up. Now sometimes, this might be a very large number. It could be like S of 20 or S of 50. And so you need to have a formula that can help you to calculate the partial sums. And the formula is going to be A sub N, not A sub N, but A sub 1 times 1 minus R to the N over 1 minus R. So A sub 1 is the first term in the geometric series. And the first term is 4. R is the common ratio. So 4 times what will give you 8? 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. So R, the common ratio, is the number that if you multiply the first term by, you get the second term. And if you multiply R by the second term, you get the third term. So to find R, you could take the second term divided by the first. So 8 over 4 is 2. Or you could take the third term divided by the second. 16 over 8 is 2. Now, if these two numbers are different, then it's not a geometric series. So they have to be the same in order for it to be a geometric series. So we can see that the common ratio is 2. So now we could use this formula. So our goal is to calculate the sum of the first five terms. So therefore, n is 5. So this is going to be a sub 1, which is 4, times 1 minus r. r is 2, and then we're going to raise it to the n power. So we've established that n is 5 divided by 1 minus r, or 1 minus 2. So this is going to be 4 times 1 minus, now 2 to the 5th power. If you multiply 5 2's, that's going to give you 32. And 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So this is going to be 4 times 1 minus 32, which is negative 31, divided by negative 1. 4 times negative 1, I mean 4 times negative 31 is negative 124. And then if you divide that by negative 1, that will give you positive 124, which is the same as what we have here. So let's try another example. So let's say if we have the series 2, 6, 18, 54, 162, 486, and we'll stop there. So go ahead and find the sum of the first six terms. So basically, we just need to add those six numbers. 2 plus 6 plus 18 plus 54 plus 162 plus 46. That's 728. Now let's confirm the answer with the formula that we just used in the last example. So we can see that the first term is 2. And the common ratio, if we take the second term and divide it by the first, that's 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Now to confirm it, let's take the third term and divide it by the second. So the third term is 18, and the second term is 6. 18 divided by 6 is also 3. So this establishes that we have a geometric series. So now let's use the formula. S sub n is the first term a sub 1 times 1 minus r raised to the n divided by 1 minus r. So we're looking for the sum of the first six terms. The first term is 2, 
r is 3, n is 6. n is always the number that you see here. It's the number of terms that you're dealing with. So we need to find the value of 3 to the 6th power. 3 to the 6 is 729. And 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So 2 divided by negative 2, that's going to be negative 1. So far we have negative 1 times 1 minus 729. And 1 minus 729 is negative 728. So negative 1 times negative 728, that's equal to positive 728. So we get that answer. Now let's determine the sum of a finite geometric series, but that's presented using summation notation. So how can we evaluate the partial sum? So what we're looking for is the sum of the first 30 terms. We're starting from the first term, and we're going to stop at the 30th term. So we need to calculate S sub 30. So the first thing we should do is list out the terms. So A sub 1, that's going to be 27 times 1 over 3, raised to the 1 minus 1. So that's 1 third to the 0, which is 1, times 27. So the first term is 27. Now the second term is going to be, this should be a 2. It's going to be 1 third raised to the 2 minus 1, which is just 1. And so it's 27 times 1 third, which is 9. And then a sub 3, that's going to be 27 times 1 over 3 raised to the 3 minus 1, which is 2. So 1 over 3 squared is 1 over 9 times 27. 27 divided by 9 is 3. And so we can see that to get the next term, we're going to divide it by 3, and then divide it by 3, and so forth. Now, we don't want to list out all 30 terms, because that's just going to take too long. And so we're definitely going to use the formula. So S sub n is a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. So S sub 30 is going to be the first term. The first term is 27 times 1 minus. And r, if you take the second term divided by the first, 9 divided by 27, that's going to reduce to 1 over 3. Or if you take the third term divided by the second, 3 over 9 will also reduce to 1 third. So typically, if you need to find a sum of a geometric series presented in summation notation, the number that's raised to the n or n minus 1 is usually the r value. Almost always is the r value. So we can clearly see that r is 1 over 3. Let's replace n with 30. So now, 1 over 3 raised to the 30th power, that's going to be a very, very, very small number. It's 4.857 times 10 to negative 15. So we could round it and say that's about 0. And then 1 minus 1 over 3, that's, you could say it's 2 thirds, but I'm going to leave it as 1 over 1 minus 3 for now. So this is approximately, this is a rounded answer, 27 over 1 minus 1 third. So let's multiply the top and bottom by 3. Twenty-seven times three is eighty-one. And then on the bottom we're gonna have three times one, which is three, and then three times a third, that's one. 
So the final answer is approximately 81 over 2, or approximately 40.5. It's not the exact answer, but it's very, very close to the answer. Let's try one more problem. So we're going to go up to 20 this time. And let's say the first term is 4, and this is times 2 raised to the n minus 1. So let's write out the sequence. So if we plug in 1, the first term is going to be 4 times 2 to the 1 minus 1, or 2 to the 0. And so that's just going to be 4. Now the second term is going to be 4 times 2 to the 2 minus 1. And so that's going to be 8. And then the third term, 4 times 2 to the 3 minus 1, or 2 squared, that's 4 times 4, which is 16. So we can see that the common ratio is 2 in this example. So the first term is 4, and r is 2. And when it's raised to the n minus 1 or n, that's the r value. So now, let's determine the sum of the first 20 terms using this equation. So s sub 20 is going to be the first term, which is 4, times 1 minus r, r is 2. And then 2 to the 20th power, that's a big number, it's going to be 1, 0, 4, 8, 5, 7, 6, and 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So 4 divided by negative 1, that's going to be negative 4. And then 1 minus that number, that's just going to be negative 1, 0, 4, 8, 5, 7, 5. So multiplying that by 4, final answer is going to be positive 4,194,300. So that is the sum of the first 20 terms.